guys welcome back thank you so much for clicking on this video if this is your first time my name is mamri and you are very welcome i react on news concerning africa and anything concerning africa i'm there especially in the aes so you are very welcome this video as you can tell by the thumbnail is about innovation the revolution of made in africa is rising high it was there it just people are not paying attention especially we the africans we love 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 made in foreign country than our own so we were not making noise about it and so after i made a video about made in burkina faso car that i still i mean to me i will not forget some of the comments yes i've been seeing a lot and this one is zimbabwe zimbabwe president with one of our brothers who has also done something unusual when you check people are saying he's a liar is this and that but he himself has given this speech families listen i'll be back thank you so much for your time you can see the battery it will start to charge itself right now the president said such were testament that zimbabweans were skilled enough to usher leading inventions that defy logic this is the only record that exists in the world there's no other in the world this is the only record in the world that it is here in zimbabwe by this young zimbabwe and he's so gifted you won't believe it when he first came to uh, talk to me, I, I thought he had some, didn't they all the wires? <laughs> <laughs> now no, that it's well connected, all well connected. Chikomboza took the opportunity to explain and demonstrate how his latest invention works. So with this car, you can also use it to power your house. It is a moving generator. When you drive from work uh, back to your home, you can connect your power cable, then you can power your house. It, is, it gives you... Thank you, families, for listening to him. Yes, he has launched the pass. For me, I'm not a car person. Even to put petrol in a car, I can't remember. My husband always laughs at me. The last time I've done it. But my son is very, very good when it comes to car type, whatever. He is very good. So I will not say much. But he has launched it and he said it's ready they have distributors in zimbabwe if you want to buy it yes you can go and buy it but he is not going to sell the company to anyone he is tuning with chinese to produce it in burkina i said burkina faso sorry in zimbabwe just like burkina faso is doing so that factory will be open soon Families, please listen to this part and I'll be back. Thank you so much. So we are in the commercial uh, stage starting from tomorrow. We've got small machines. Most of them, they've been bought with these guys who came. We've got guys from DRC. Uh, he bought some machines as well. We didn't have much, but right now we are now in operation. And uh, whoever who wants a machine can now get it. We've got our um, distributor here in Zimbabwe who is going to be handling all the cells in Zimbabwe. So from now going onwards, you can now get the machines. The world's traditional ways of believes that Zimbabweans are capable of spearheading game-changing, first-of-a-kind innovations that challenge the world's traditional ways of doing things. President Wanagagwa said no one can take away that capability. He was, he said this earlier today when Zimbabwean innovator and inventor Maxo Chukumbuzo paid a courtesy call showcasing his latest invention of the world's first soft powering vehicles and motorbikes that run just on radio waves. Thank you, families, for listening. I mean, when it comes to made in Africa, Africans doing something unusual, they will prove Africans wrong. No. They cannot do it. They don't have the knowledge to do it. I mean, when I found out that even the mobile fibrotic or whatever is called for us to receive more pictures on our mobile phone, for us to stop using landline, the phone with the wires, it was Ghanaian who invented that. I was shocked. So this is what is happening in Africa.
And so now we come to my own Ghana. Yes, this uh, father, I will call him father, is old enough to be my father. Kantinka, 10 years ago, 11 years ago, I saw him on the telly, not only making cars, but what caught my attention is fertilizers, organic fertilizers. He has his own TV channel. He has been preaching to people. And you can imagine people don't watch that a lot. They watch uh, Chinese and Filipino docu uh, news, film and movies, turn their attention from it. But this father is trying hard to turn Ghanaians and Africans' attention from the foreign products that we are relying on. Organic fertilizers, perfect. Spray it. He made the machines to spray it easily. Perfect. The water, perfect. The cars, the lorries, the bulldozers, whatever he has been producing. His only problem when I listened to him those days was the tariff on some of the materials that he get from outside, like they are doing in Burkina Faso, Mali, Niger, that they remove the taxes so it will be cheaper if you are coming to use it to produce something in the country. No, the government was not doing that. So the price at that time was still high. And people were saying, oh, made in Ghana, no. I want German one. I want Toyota. I want uh, made in Britain. I want made in China. They were not patronizing it. Until recently, some are going back. And thankfully, our new president, I'm sure he will be able to help spread the news because recently they have launched another one they have launched new ones and if you can crap for a telly a, te a tv to change the station if you can crap to hide the volume what else do you want you will not use battery and not a lot of people would like that the battery producers will not be happy about that but this man did a lot of things and more and i'm hoping that ghana will, will use he's old now but they will use his knowledge a lot of people have learned from him but i'm still thinking there's more in this man we should not make mistake like the fibrotic i'm sorry i forgot his name man that he has passed last year the electronic uh, train that he want to do a lot of promises he has given to government. Government were not paying attention to him. They were paying attention to IMF loan. Instead, this man has died. So yes, there is more to come about this electric cars. We know Zimbabwe, apart from our young man, there's other people producing it in Zimbabwe, Uganda. I came across Woodmeyer video. And there is another your man producing this cars. Please listen to him and I'll be back. Actually, you can call me an engineer because but I'm not educated. I don't have those uh, qualifications. What do you mean? Yeah, yeah. because no, I'm, 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 I, I don't know start at seven, the primary level only. Primary level? Yes. And with primary level education, you're building your own cars. Yeah, but that one is not about to be educated. Uh, the gift from God. Wow. Yeah. This it's Lesotho, and right behind me is a workshop that proves that Africans are capable. We can build any car. Okay. Yeah. There is a young man in living in this country that everyone is telling me that I need to meet. He's building all-terrain vehicles. He's 100% local. <laughs> Look at the that we take from South Africa. This one is 100% local. <laughs> Locally <laughs> produced <laughs> by <laughs> It means that cars that are being manufactured or built in here are just for African terrain. We are on top of the mountain and it's driving comfortably. Which... Yes, this is what he's also producing. My goodness. He has tailored it according to our road and everything. Since he was young, he was learning. Africa, we are not that. We are not stupid as people think we are. It's just our leaders. Some of the leaders are not helping us. And as the car revolution 
is rising up the agriculture revolution is rising up i hope many many people like i mean i share a video about burkina faso washing machine a young man producing washing machine that you can move around you can circle around from house to house you don't want that what else do you want i'm hoping they will put all these knowledges together that man they will build a factory for him all of them they will come together work together not come together in one country but share ideas and work together and i'm hoping that africans will patronize made in africa to help this um talented gifted ones that are coming i saw a man producing tractors in nigeria some time ago i even contacted him to find out a bit more about what he's doing full tractors he's doing it all by himself there are a lot of things going on in africa africa is rising and we africans have to be helping them because if we don't they will all die off and when they die off we will still be relying on foreign products we should be learning from the aes and depend on africa and africa alone because like trauma has come now no age eu will also say no age and all that and by the way we all know that the age that they are giving to africa is africa's own money that they are taking and then they give a bit back can you believe africans sponsoring european elections just like europeans are sponsoring africa elections how poor they call africa you are poor you are still throwing money families i'll be back with another video it might not be today but work on it you will open your mouth some secrets that are coming out it's like when you open one another one comes up <laughs> i will leave you my families thank you so so much for your time i'm just amazed and i decided to share this video with you i was working on it when one of our family said to mom pay attention to the cars in zimbabwe i said yes i'm already working on it i want to put more together to let people know that there's a lot going on in africa and yes burkina faso is not working with zimbabwe not yet but zimbabwe the young man said he is also going to bring the chinese in they have signed a contract already and yes they will be building a factory in zimbabwe and zimbabwe is zimbabweans yes will get a job to do they will not take the technology out of the country no he's not going to do it. okay and if we want ghana to grow we have to support ghana exactly. do you see white people coming here to buy ghana made exactly. no their their country is doing well because they support their economy they buy their own product so that i will leave you here thank you god bless you or i'll put credit i'll put the name of the channels on the video so you can see but credit you would admire for sharing this wonderful news with us the rest i'll put their names there because i can't remember them on top of my head it's not that i'm disrespecting them but truly i can remember it thank you god bless you all those who have been super chatting me my members my kings and queens my queens and kings yes my vips thank you oh god bless you my new subscribers which i call my family thank you so much for joining this amazing family i don't know what you have seen here but you must like something and that's why you join us you are very very welcome god bless you god bless you for joining this family share it like it subscribe if you are new here and join this family i'll be back families god bless you all have a wonderful day